Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Super Hamster Plays Farming Simulator 2017. As ever, do me a favour, hit the thumbs up button on this video, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. Help me take over YouTube, one subscriber at a time. And here we are, outside the Manning Agricultural Stores, and I have just picked up the latest bit of kit is our old tractor, and what have we bought? We have bought this. No, it is not a hedge trimmer, although it does look suspiciously like an electric meat carver. Um, it's it's a really old mower. Um, it's pretty. I think there's one up from this that this machine will run, um, but it's not cheap. So. Um, yeah, so that's the one we've picked up. Um, I figured it was about time to get ready for um, the sheep. Consequently, we need to start getting some uh, some grass saved up so lifting him up marvelous and that should be we unfold we can and that does a sort of choppy action thing chop 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 yeah right so plan for the day uh, we are going collect or cut a lot of grass which will then have turned into bales um, and put in storage ready to get some sheep in the next few days and as you can see the weather's pretty good and the weather's supposed to continue tomorrow so seems like a nice day to do it and this thing is getting filthy we are going to have to look at getting some sort of I don't think a bucket and sponge is going to get the job done, frankly. So, um, yeah, we might need to... Just worried about mechanisms getting all gunked up and stuff. There's the, uh, the agroforestry that we did yesterday. So we can close that. We're not going in there today. We're going in this field. Field number seven. And if we've timed that field... I did some more thinking about this field last night, and yeah, I'm going to want to close that or I'm going to end up fouling. Close the gate, there we go, and slide that across right, yes, um, okay, where are we? let's lower that. Let's lower that. Let's see if we can get a bit closer to that hedge. Oh, wrong gear. Ugh, can't quite get the hang of this tractor. So that seems about right. Yeah. Lower. Switch on. How are we doing? Hit it, cuts. Marvellous. I'm probably not going to bother cutting into that area there. No, I own this one. I don't own that one. So it's just going to be a bit of a warning there. Yeah, I don't want to pick up the weeds, so we'll just after the grass. Um, yeah, I want to get some um, some grass bales and things, maybe some um, hay bales in store, uh, probably in the, the larger what's that? Um, 
and then we can get get some sheep on order. Um, but I don't want to get them in until uh, until we've got the stuff to to look after them. Get too close there. Oh, here we go. That one. Yeah, this should bring us round to where we started. Right. Switch the machine off. Now, if I... This machine's got the same, pretty much the same width as the tractor. So I figure if I then go back and drive over this bit, then the cutter will meet make sense to you? But yeah, I want to get a, a small flock of, uh, of sheep going. So that's the plan. But we need food. So in order to get food, we need to start cutting grass. So first things first, we're going to need to cut it. And uh, they, they, they've got them over at the shop for me. Um, we've got a, a baler. And we've got uh, a trailer. Um, it's quite small bales. I mean, big bales, you need like forklifts and tully handlers and things to move them. We don't have any of that. We're nowhere near that scale yet. So um, I specifically found another older machine. Um, it's good working order. Uh, but it makes smaller bales that we can pick up by hand. Um, and the trailer in question is like a big cage on wheels. Um, but as well as um, making the bales, this one, rather than just squirt them out the back, has a chute that will chuck them into the top of the wagon, which works quite nicely. But yeah. Well, I'm going to carry on very slowly driving in circles around our field. Getting all this stuff done. Let's cut that corner and we'll sort it out next time around. Um, yeah, I'm going to carry on doing this for a while and uh, we'll bring you back when I've done a bit more. Or maybe we'll play some not so good music. Who knows? It's a lovely day. Let's see which way the wind's blowing. Metaphorically speaking. See ya. Welcome back. Ooh. It looks like uh, they've got all my bits of kit ready for me. So we're going to need this one at the end here first. So let's. Uh into position for that one. And, uh, yeah, let's have a quick look around. Right, so, first of all, we have uh, our bale wagon, as discussed. Big cage, slightly lower at this end. Just a simple trailer. And, of course, this one is our baler. So the grass will come up there, come out the chute, uh, and... Uh, there you go. You see there's a tow bar there, so that we hook to this thing, uh, or a tow pin I should say, and that will chuck the bales in the back of this, and we may have to get up here and move them down a bit and then carry on. But yeah, so that's what that's going to do. And this one, this one is brand new. Uh, it is, is it a windrow or a tedder? Tedder or a windrow? I honestly can't remember. It is... It's a windrower. Um, it's basically it's a giant rake. So it'll take something that's four metres wide um, of grass and it'll just create a single thick layer for this thing to uh, to drive over. So, uh, where are we? Right, let's get it hooked up first. So let's do that. And... That all hooked up, ready to go. Start her up. Alright. See what we got. 
Okay, the raising and the lowering thing works. And not a lot of room here, so let's move forward a little bit. And can we unfold? Yes, we can. And there you go, that's what it's going to do. There you go. So let's go and gather some grass. Now, you'll notice from uh, from my balance up there that, uh, yeah, that was um, the better part of 22,000 pounds, I think, for all of these bits of kit. But we own all of them, none of them at least. Obviously, we've got some maintenance um, to pay on them, but... That'll be fine. I've noticed that we've got to go. We've got four and a half hours of work time before um, this, this tractor needs its service. And we're getting fairly low on fuel. So. Right. Okay, let us unfold so that's it doing its thing yeah, let's give it some room close there you go slide the little bar there we go now I'm thinking yeah, when it breaks it's going to basically drag it and throw it against this board so the line will end up down here I think that's how it's going to work, but let's find out. So power it up. Oh, no. Lower it back down. And that's exactly what it's doing. Right. Okay. In which case, I probably... I want to go back around the other way so that it's on the inside. I think. So let's start. Let's swing back around that part that I just did. Because I don't want I have to get the baler in in there. So if I drag like that, that should just swing it over to the other side. What it's doing? It is perfect. <laughs> That's what we want it to do. So it's doing it. I do love it when something does the one thing. It, when something's got one job to do in the whole world, it should do it well. Yeah? That's, that's the problem with modern phones and cars. I think they're trying to be everything. It's, it's a phone, it's a camera, it's an MP3 player. It's a, just give me one thing and do it well. As opposed to giving lots of things that you do pretty well. No. But I rant. Yeah, well. Uh, I'm going to carry on with my windrower. And... We'll get going. this over a bit. How's that looking? That's pretty good. I think the uh, the baler will do fine in there. No, oh, I missed a bit. Well, I'm not going back to get it again. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to carry on with this and go and grab a spot of lunch because I'm actually getting quite hungry now. 
That's the beauty of working this close to the house. I can just pop in there and grab a cup of tea or something if I want to. Not that I drink tea, but, you know, you get the, you get my drift. I can go and grab a sandwich or something. Right. Yeah, I'm going to carry on doing the rest of the field and um, see you when I get back. Seems to be having some trouble connecting it. Oh, there we go. Just couldn't find the right bit. There we go. So that now we should be able to. There we go. See? Right. Uh, well, let's... Uh, let's lift. Lift that. And... Fold. Okay. Right. So we're all connected up there. Now, what we're going to have to do on this one is practice my reversing skills, which are not great, I will tell you that. Oh, too far. No. Right. go that way. Yeah. How we do how we connect it? No. Uh, just a little bit more. Well, it's not hooked up. There you go. Mm, obviously, we're a bit longer and we're a bit heavy, so we want to make sure that uh, we get round okay. wide and then swing back in. How does that work? Yep, fine. Gonna make that. No problem at all. Bum, 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 bum. And here we are. Right. So. We need to lower the pickup and unfold. And it's slightly to one side. Uh, fold baler. No, 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 no. Just turning it on. Doing there. there we go. See, picking up, picking up the grass. And bales are coming out the back. Cruise control on this one. We don't want to go too quickly. Yeah, it seems to be working quite nicely. Another, another job, or another piece of kit that's doing what it's supposed to do. Let's come around to the inside of this one. I think that tree was going to get in the way. Oh, 
are we doing on the bale? Oh, we've got eight bales. I see the little counter down there. That's a useful bit of kit. falling over. No, we're okay so far. Something's making a funny noise. Come around and we'll rejoin this line here. Doing okay? Doing okay? I thought we'd get 20 bales, but at this rate, I think we might get nearer 40. We'll get twice that. And I don't know how many the uh, the trailer can actually hold. So far, so good. Perhaps we need to drive over this thing. It's roughly in line with where the, uh, the back wheel is. So. one so far. Uh, a bit awkward, but is there a right way to drive around a field? Really? You just sort of go around, get it done. Spotted a couple falling out there, so and let's switch. So I'm climbing in the back there. I don't want to. Uh, yeah, is that the first one that's fallen out? I think it might be. top and just throw them down there. <sighs> this is very awkward. The man in the shop said it would just all nicely fall in. I mean, I wasn't expecting sort of auto stacker quality stuff, but
Yeah, it's just a bit tight to move in here. That's the problem. Yeah, of course, I'm standing on the things I'm trying to move, so that's not going to help. That was the one that was in the way. from the tree because you know tree and we'll come at it from the other side Well, that if we have uh, a few, a few straggly bits left over, there's this bit down the side of the field here. Yeah, it's just that main line, and I think that was well, a little bit over at the far end of the field. We're up to 32. What we get from this little loop? over there and a little bit over there and then that's the whole field done. Will we hit 40? That's the question. Oh, I think we'll easily hit 40 at this rate. Line it up. 
think we are too crooked, that's when the bales start to fall out. Have to remember that for next time. And speaking of next time, it's quite late now. 41 bales. Switch this thing off. Let's uh, switch up that. Let us fold up that. Let us. Where are we? Unload the baler. Squirt those last couple out. Dink, dink, dink. And fold him up. And there we go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Something a little different. Yeah, well, I'm going to take these back and put them in the big barn. Uh, which is where I plan to store stuff like this. I missed a bit. Oh, well. But yeah, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a hit on the uh, the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. Proper stuck. Ew. What have I done? I'm really stuck. Uh, yes, yeah, that post. Okay. I really don't like dolly trailers. Uh, I may have to abandon it and come back and get it later. Let's just have one more go. Can I get it out? There we go. Free. But uh, I'm not going to get him round there. You know what? I may have to go around down to the yard and come back. Which I'm going to do off camera because it's quite late and it's very embarrassing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. This is Super Hamster signing out. Bye for now. Bye-bye.